Hey guys, welcome back to Secure Well. Today we'll be diving into a demonstration of cross-site scripting or XSS vulnerability using DVWA, a damn vulnerable web application. Trust me, you won't have to miss this. So grab your favorite drink and sit back and let's get hacking. A quick reminder, all demonstrations are for educational purposes only. Always practice ethical hacking on systems that you have explicit permissions to do so. Most importantly, if you love learning about cybersecurity or ethical hacking, hit that like button and share this video with your friends. And of course, subscribe for more awesome content. Let's dive in. So what's the deal with XSS? Cross-site scripting is a sneaky vulnerability that let attackers inject malicious scripts into web pages viewed by other users. Imagine the chaos still on the data, hijacking sessions, and more and more. Sounds exciting, right? Well, we're about to see it in action. First thing first, let's get the DVWA set up. If you haven't already have one, head over to their official website and download DVWA and lash your browser and navigate to your DVWA instance. I'll provide the link in the description below. So launch your web browser and navigate to your DVWA instance, log in, the username is admin and password is password. All right, we're in. Navigate to XSS Reflected. This is where the magic happens. So let's try to write whatever. And it gives us this message. Let's see the page source. And where is that? This is the message we wrote. Let's try to give it a little code here and see if it will sanitize it or not. So we will start with a simple one. Let's see some action. Scrape. Our message in here, make sure to close the quote. Quote slash script. As you can see guys, the alert box just popped up. Our script executed perfectly, but in real world scenario, an attacker could use a more sophisticated script to steal cookies and hijack sessions and more and more. So now let's raise the stacks and switch to medium level and see how we can play with it. So let's go back. Let's try the same command and see if it will work. As you can see, it didn't work. Let's see why it didn't work. If we see closely here, you will notice that there is some sort of sanitization. Our message we had um, the script alert. If you can see here, there is no script. The alert is still there, but this script was sanitized. So let's try and see how we can bypass this filter. I'll try to encode the script and see. Let's convert it to URL. Right. and here is our message and here is our output let's copy that and try if it works okay it didn't work let's see why it seems like it doesn't work i think it's not capable of understanding this this letters this this code um okay Let's try another thing. Let's do that. Let's make it here so you can see. Let's play with wording. Let's just try to, to make them uppercase and see if that would work. We were able to trick the filter. Let me show you what 
happen exactly go to the page source so the filter could not recognize this uh, uppercase words this shows that even with filters xss can still be executed using various bypass techniques the first technique didn't work but we were able to bypass it with the second technique but you should always know the mechanism and know what makes the code not to be executed and now let's level up to high level and see if we can bypass that filter let's try again and see if this works of course not let's understand the mechanism why it is not working as you can see here everything got sanitized uh, there is nothing left our whole script got vanished so let's see a hint uh, high level html events the developer now believes they can disable the old javascript by removing the pattern script mm. As you can see guys, this adds even more filtering. Our previous tricks won't work here. So there are a lot of payloads out there. So go grab the payload that will work for your case. So let's try this one. So I've got one here. Let's see if it works. But let's make it more funnier. So let's take this picture. Um, where is the picture though? Okay. Get the link. Boom. Okay. Double quotes. go as you can see here the picture popped up here that means the query got executed this demonstrate that even at higher security levels xss can be a threat if proper sanitization and filtering are not in place as a pen tester always look for areas where user inputs are reflected back in the web page without proper sanitization or filtering always test with different encoding techniques and payloads so to mitigate xss vulnerabilities validate and sanitize all user inputs encode output data use content security policies and most importantly always keep your web applications and libraries up to date with the latest security patches so let's wrap this up if you found this video helpful smash that like button and share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos like this have questions or suggestions just drop them in the comment below and see you in the next one